Okay. Action. This is an air compressor. It's made by the Westinghouse Air Brake Company. It's used to make compressed air to run the brakes on the train, both the locomotive and any train cars that they might be pulling with it. It uses steam on the top side, high pressure steam, 200 pounds from the boiler on the right. Once that's used, it, it becomes much lower pressure. It goes into this larger cylinder and it gets used again. So it's compound. The same with the air is on the lower side. And the first pass through here, it comes through. There's an air cleaner right here, very similar to one on your car. Goes, the air goes in here. It generates it at a lower pressure and then moves over to the high pressure side, exits here, goes through some cooling pipes here, and then into the main reservoir, which holds the compressed air for the train. This is called an eight and a half inch by 150, which means the piston size is eight and a half inches. It makes 150 cubic feet a minute of air when it's running full out. We ran it today. It's the first time it's been run in 60 something years. Uh, we opened it up to make sure everything looked copacetic inside and oiled it all up. We ran it with compressed air, which they will, not quite as efficiently as with steam, but we ran it with compressed air to see where we needed to go with it, if we needed to actually rebuild this, and this looks pretty good shape. Awesome. We'll have to do some final testing once we have steam available for us. There's a number of tests you do with these called orifice tests that tell you if it's putting out the appropriate amount of air, compressed air for the amount of steam use that it's using.